Hello viewers, welcome to my greenhouse today. Today's January 14, 2016, and I'm going to be talking about lettuce today. I am going to show you that I am going to be planting some new seedlings, and this is called the Little Gem. I don't know if you can see, that's kind of blurry, and it's a slow bolt. Uh, romaine lettuce and as you can see um, I already got the soil prepared and this is basically compost in which I added a little bit of worm castings and that's basically all I use for my seedlings and they seem to be doing pretty good as you can see from above here and so anyways what I'm gonna do what you usually start off with is trying to fill your packs. Now these are those packs that you can get from the nurseries when you buy vegetables um, ready to plant. And I never toss mine. I always keep them because they're wonderful for starting your seedlings. So I fill this up, not fully to the top, and all I do is I take the seed packet and I just sprinkle the seed packets, as you can see here. in each one of these little sections. There we go. Then once that is done, I cover it with another, uh, just a thin layer of compost. And then of course, I just slowly pat it dry a little bit and I take some water and I just slightly wet it. So that is done. So basically all I do, what I like to do, um, and this works with all my seedlings, I usually place it in these little containers and I don't know if you've seen these in the supermarkets but these are like uh, those containers that you can buy your mushrooms in I don't throw these away as well. I keep these and what I do is I add seaweed water. This kind of helps the seedlings absorb the water from the bottom, the base of the packet and it really it helps me from having to come out here watering all the time and it basically absorbs from below. So all I do is I just stick these in this uh, water container and that's it. So after a couple of weeks, maybe what, one or two weeks, you will start to see growth such as this. And here I have the red sail and I have what's called the crispy frills lettuce. And this crispy frills is supposedly good for grilling. You could, believe it or not, you can grill lettuce. So what I do is, I don't, the way I thin it out, I hate, wasting vegetables. I hate wasting seedlings so what I do is I'll pull one of these out once they're about this size and I do salad bowls and as you can see here I created a salad bowl so each one what I do is I usually pull one out I take one of these bamboo sticks I put the hole in there and that's how I plant each individual one so this will form, as it gets bigger, this will form as a salad bowl. So all you have to do here, you can put it on your patio and just trim it or shear it off with your scissors and there's your salad. So the other thing I like to do is I sometimes I keep them in these packets and I like to plant them also in the vegetable bed and I will show you that in a moment. But another thing that I do with these lettuces, the seedlings, once they're to a little bit bigger maturity, maybe like about three weeks, we have a small hydroponic system here in our greenhouse. And as you can see, they are doing wonderful. So every now and then I'll come in here and also I will harvest some of these. And what I mean by aquaponics is this is a small system. It's really good for saving water as I will lift this you can see that underneath there's the root system and then there's the water. And my husband 
set it up so it's filtered in the center. And of course, the fish, we have little feeder fish here in this tub. And I don't think, I don't, they're way in the bottom because it's kind of cold right now, so I don't think you can see them from this video. But this is our aquaponic system that we're testing out and tried it, and it's working. As you can see, our lettuces are doing really good, they're really green, they're very healthy. Now we're walking down to the vegetable garden area. As you can see, I have uh, quite a bit of vegetables out here, but since we're on the topic of lettuce, one thing I like to do as well is plant them in hanging baskets, as you can see here. And so they're hanging, and look, they're sprouting. It works. So we'll see how those do in a couple of weeks. But we're gonna go over here and do a couple of lettuce harvests. As I said, as they mature, I like to plant them here in the vegetable beds. And here are some of those red sail lettuce that I mentioned. And I have some romaine lettuce over here. And the way I harvest these is I usually pick the outer leaves. Um, that way I can constantly have production from the center leaves here. So all you do is go with the base and pull it out. That easy. So I usually pick all the large lettuce from the, the base, the outer leaves. And it's that simple. As you can see. Now same thing for the romaine lettuce. What I like to do with the romaine is I go around and now with the romaine, I tend to pack them in. As you can see, there's like usually three plants in one and it just looks prettier in the garden. And not only that, I like how they are clustered and it looks neat. So what I do on these as well is I pick from the base and there you go, nice fresh organic uh, romaine lettuce. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you and we'll see you next time.